Yo, what's going on everybody? Nelson and Kevin from Hoop and I. Today we got a big banger for you guys. In our hands we have the Nike LeBron 16s in the What The Colorway or also dubbed the 1 through 5s. Alright guys, so LeBron 16 1 through 5. A quick history of the shoe. So this is the first performance model of LeBron 16. But why it's called 1 through 5, it's, it's a mashup or a what the of the first 5 colorways that are going to come out for the LeBron 16. So the 5 colorways that are going to come out are going to be the Strive for Greatness, the King, the 20 for 20, the I Promise, and the Fresh Bread. 1 through 5 also represents how LeBron is able to play all 5 positions on the basketball court where he has no weakness from point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward to even center. What do you think about that logic to have LeBron you know, first five colorways, normally the what does are usually for his previous colorways, mm -hmm. you know, afterwards, but you know, they're coming out hot with the, you know, these so-called preheats in the what the colorway. Man, first impression, this is a really sick shoe in person. The detail is crazy. So just to get that off of mind, like this was a crazy shoe, but just the fact that it's called one through five, use the first five colorways and the whole logic of like him playing one through five, I gotta say, he has a point. He can play any position if he wants. In He's today's big. game, yes, he can. Yeah, he can play big, he can play point guard, he can shoot the ball now. It's like, LeBron can do it all. So, one through five is a very appropriate name. As you can see, uh, in our hands, we got uh, one pair, and also a pair, we got another pair. Mm -hmm. That's my pair. In our hands, we're holding Kevin's pair. Man, what is your favorite detailing of the shoe? I mean, like, like you said, there's a bunch of crazy detailing on this shoe. I, I do not know where to begin. It's just like, all right, first off, which pair do you like better, the left shoe or the right shoe? I like the left shoe, the one you're holding. Okay, okay, So, right. I like your, I like the left shoe better. Because of what, the multicolor? Just the multicolor and it's just a little flashy. This one has a lot of detail too also, but it looks a little more generic. With it's a little more detail. subtle, yeah. yeah a little more there's subtle. more subtle details. As you guys can see, you guys see the line in the back. You guys see this what looks like the pony or horse hair in the front on the tongue right here. Pony? You mean the cheetah print? But it's like, like freaking horse hair, man. Oh. It's a cheetah crazy. print. Yeah, it's cheetah print, but I didn't even realize that it has like pony hair. A pony or horse hair, however you guys want to call it, whatever. Damn, so they slaughtered a pony to make this shoe? Yeah, man. LeBron. Yeah, LeBron, man, Dude, come can't. on now. But yeah, this is like on the tongue. It's like a cheetah print, pony hair, horse hair, however you guys want to call it. You know, the, the outsole is pretty sick. Different colors. Yo, this out. I so speckled. This also is crazy, but I like the also on that pair better. Yeah. You know, so it's more. Going back to the original question, sorry for getting sidetracked, guys. I would say my favorite part of the shoe probably has to be this gold trim right here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this gold trim stands out a lot. I like this. I like it flashy like that. And I just like the multicolor battle knit upper right here. So while wow, versus this. Oreo looking upper, it looks kind of boring. That's my personal preference, how about you now? Okay, all right. My personal preference, I'm gonna hold on to this pair. I actually really like this uh, iridescent swoosh. This whole back Ooh. heel, the iridescent swoosh along with the, you know, the golden eyes. Basically the reputation for this, for the fresh bread colorway is that um, it has LeBron's death stare when he was in Miami. I'll pop up a picture, you know, when LeBron was in Miami, he gave you that death stare. Basically that's what the eyes resemble in the lion. Uh, so I thought that was kind of crazy. And just, you know, having it all black, you know, with the eyes. Is really cool. Um, like I said, this iridescent swoosh is really tight. Yeah, so like I think that's my favorite part of the shoe. Yeah, like we're saying, the right side it's a lot more subtle, but there's small detailings. Just like Nelson's favorite part, he said the iridescent swoosh and the golden eyes. Something like that on a black back heel, you know, it stands out so much. So what's also really dope that you guys probably can't see, uh, you know, from the from the pictures or from the you know uh, showing you the clips is that beneath the Oreo pair or beneath the right pair in the upper, you can see like a multicolored knitting. Mm -hmm. uh, underneath it, which is kind of like really crazy. You know, that's a small little detail. Yeah, there's actually a lot of details to the shoe. One thing I even like is they even got extra laces on both sides, right? You got the neon extra laces right here. And you got, you got some like, like cream. Are these glow in the dark? Laces? I'm not even sure, we'll have to find out, but this is like... Oh, it's like a cream beige color. It looks like a cream way. or a beige to me, a little bit, not really true white, but definitely like a little off-white. So extra laces, you got insole print too. Ooh, hey. You guys can't see this right now from my angle, but look, you can see that. You can see the eyes right here. Boom. Oh, Black, shoot, that's crazy. That looks like Black Panther right there. Oh, they have a throwback on uh, LeBron sitting on the throne. I think this is for the 
the, the air zoom generation campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wearing AZGs in this. So, damn, that's crazy. That's a throwback to LeBron's first shoe. I haven't been excited about a LeBron shoe in quite some time, guys. Moving on to the technology of the shoe. Off the bat, the LeBron 16 is a low top shoe. It features Battle Knit 2.0, which is a more rugged and durable, making the upper more stronger. Hence the term battle because LeBron be going into battle every game. There is no flywire cables for the laces to pull on for the LeBron 16 compared to the LeBron 15s. But it does feature a tongue but it's still like a one piece booty where you can pull up for a more casual lifestyle look. For cushioning, it's most likely the same with the Battle Max cushioning setup, which basically is Max Air. All right, Kev, what do you think about the tech on the LeBron 16? So the tech for the LeBron 16 is more or less the same as the previous model of LeBron 15, but just some slight improvements. So some of the slight improvements is this is a battle knit 2.0. This is just a reinforced and improvement on the previous battle knit. And another thing to keep in mind is uh, they actually made improvements on the tongue and We'll show you guys later, but when you unlace it, you, the tongue actually loosens up, so it's gonna be a lot easier to slip your foot in there. Mm -hmm. And they actually kept it in mind for aesthetics if you wear a shoe for a lifestyle shoe. Another difference on the LeBron 16 is that Nike actually took off the piece between the midsole and the Air Max unit, giving it a more lower to the ground feel. Because you know, in the LeBron 15s, they were a little bit high off the ground. Uh, I don't really like that uh, feeling, but the Battle Max cushioning is really, really comfy. I just didn't really like that high off the ground feeling. I felt like it was too squishy, and I felt like the shoe was a bit wobbly in terms of you know stability. Another improvement that Nike did is that they added an outrigger to give it that more stability to help with the fact that it takes away the wobbliness and to give the shoe more stability when you open. Yeah, so looking at the shoe, right? Uh, one thing that guys probably don't keep much in mind is the back heel material is actually different on both pairs. So as you guys can see, the white pair right here, uh, the back heel is actually leather, while this one is like a new book. On the outside, it doesn't seem like much of a difference, but considering the materials, and this is a back heel providing extra support, I wonder how it affects the performance of the shoe. Probably not much at all. I, I probably, if I had to say, that it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. All right guys, one thing I did notice about my personal pair is the Mac Zoom right here, some of the threads are actually ripped. Uh, ripped? For real? But as you can see right here now, uh, some of oh, the threads right shoot. here are They're ripped. like busted. Yeah. Um, are they like blown up? Well, you know, uh, feeling the shoe, right? The integrity of the zoom is not compromised, but I can see that the threads, some of them have ripped. And I actually shoot, have- hold this. Let me check out my pair. Yeah, this is something I don't really pay attention to. When I got the shoes, I checked it out, see there's no obvious flaws. But this is something I don't, I'm not looking for. I'm not looking at thread of the zoom. Yeah, I was just kind of taking a closer look right now. I just noticed that. So this has, I hope it doesn't have anything to do with the performance. Man, I feel like Nike just did a really bad job. You know, they don't, I like my, I, some of my needles are not like busted, but they do look like they're not clean looking. Oh, mine just straight up ripped in half right here. Dude, look that one. Oh, so some of yours is broken. Oh, some of yours is ripped too. Damn, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, so both our pairs are like, like sliced in half mm. on one of them. But yeah, like I said, guys, just feeling the integrity of the zoom. It doesn't seem compromised, but it's just a aesthetic thing right now. I hope so. Once I put the shoe on, we'll find out. Yeah, that's crazy. As far as pricing goes for the LeBron 16, the retail price is $185. For this specific colorway, the LeBron 16 1 through 5 or what the is $200. So this one is a $15 increase compared to the normal releases that are gonna come out in the near future, it's gonna be pricey regardless. 185, 200. That is the highest sticker price for a Nike signature shoe. Obviously, you know, oh, right now, LeBron yeah, he's the greatest player to play the game right now. So arguably, arguably. His shoe. Arguably. But I yeah. said right now, I didn't say ever. So, you know, that's yeah. a different debate. But anyways, yeah, LeBron 15, LeBron 16, 185 a pop. Uh, obviously the what does, you know, one through five. A limited pair goes for 200 bucks, but it's worth it. Yeah, just off the aesthetics alone, of course it's worth it, man. This is a crazy shoe. I don't. I highly doubt any of the future colorways is gonna be as detailed as this. The very next LeBron 16 colorway, the first bread or the black and red colorway is gonna be dropping on September 20th. Make sure to cop that if you guys like that clean black and red colorway. Those, like we said, retails for 185, you know, not 200. Still pretty steep, but hey, you know, LeBron, Change the game with Nike, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that video on the new Nike LeBron 16 preview. Let us know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the LeBron 16s? Do you guys like them? Do you guys dislike them? Were you guys able to cop them? And two,
Let us know what other sneaker videos you guys want us to do. And also make sure to check out our social medias in the description box down below. Also check out these other videos over here. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, Nelson and Kevin from Hoopin' Life, we out. Peace. Peace.